Hello. Today on Rhyming Timing, we're writing cursive letter F. Cursive letter F. But first, I have to say hello to some of my Rhyming Timing friends. Hello, Sarah and Lindsay. Sarah, I heard you wanted to write cursive letter F. Today's your day. Vicki and Anthony, Joseph, Aiden, and Mason, three cousins, Richard and Susan, two people whose name begin with letter F, Fran and Felicia. Hello, you doll babies. And hello, Janine. So here it is, cursive letter F. They say cursive letter F is one of the most difficult cursive letters to write. Maybe it's because it really doesn't look like print F. Maybe it's because the lowercase goes downstairs. It goes into the basement. And that's something different. So let's take a look at this. This is where you start. You start right here at this red dot for the hat of uppercase F. And you make a little loop and a curl of a hat. And you pick your pen up to come down in the center and a hook and a little boat, then you cross the F. Lowercase f starts on the bottom line and you make a backwards loop, come down, 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 past the bottom line, downstairs in the basement, make a loop forward and a tail. Okay. I want you to do it with me. We'll write an uppercase F and a lowercase F together, and then we'll write some words. So first, uppercase F with me. Starting at the top. A curl and a hat. Pick up your pen. Now down in the center with a curved line a hook and a boat and you cross that F, lowercase f, starting on the bottom line. Come up almost to the top, make a backwards loop, come down, a forward loop and a tail. And I have my own style of writing uppercase F. I'll show you later. After everything, I'll show you my way of writing uppercase F. It's a little different because when you're writing cursive enough, you get your own style and you get your own handwriting. And that happens and you try different things. Okay, first, let's, you see, it left my note paper. Let's write the words fad and fed, fad and fed. Starting, and we're gonna do lowercase f for that, fad, F-A-D, F-A-D, fashion is a fad. Up, backwards loop, down stairs, forward loop. Now watch this, that tail becomes the top of the A. You stop, go back around, make a curved line up, and now for the D. Up, 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 stop, just like you're making an A. Come back down on the same line, and a slanted line up, back down on the same line. Fad. And let's write the word fed, F-E-D. I fed Sparky today. Starting at the bottom line. A loop, backwards loop, down, down, all the way downstairs. Now this tail becomes that backwards loop of the E. Now the D, stop, come back around, up on the same line, and uh, tail. Very good.
bad and fed. Now, I want to show you this note paper because I made a mistake on this note paper. I wrote upside down. And what you see, it's a cat on top of a Christmas tree shape holding a star. And this was from my friends, Patricia and Paul. Patricia and Paul. And today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Patricia. And uh, this was the note paper she sent me at Christmas time. And I saved it. Now I want to show you my cursive handwriting. That's my cursive handwriting, you see? That's my cursive handwriting. And letter F, how I do uppercase F, it's almost like that. And it's acceptable, but it's different. I come across like a hat, down, a hook, and I cross it. And that's all I do. But that's really the way it's taught. All right, today, Letter F. Next time, cursive writing, rhyming, timing. Letter G. And I'm going to say hello to some of my friends whose names begin with letter G. Letter G is a little tricky, too. You want to see one more word? One more word. I'm going to take this word fad, and I'm going to make it the word fade. Do you know how I'm going to make it the word fade? I have to add one letter to the end. I have to add a silent E. And then it becomes fade. Up from the bottom line, backwards loop, downstairs, forward, the A, stop, come back down on the same line, up, D, you stop, Come back down on the same line, up, down on the same line, and the E, silent E is a backwards loop, fad, fade, fad, fade, because I added the silent E, this A makes its own sound, this A makes its own sound, when two vowels are together in one syllable, the first vowel makes its own sound. When two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. Fade. All right, boys and girls, you need to practice letter F. It's not an easy one. So don't worry if you get it wrong. You'll keep trying, and then you'll get it right, and you'll keep going, and you'll have a great handwriting for when you're taking notes or writing out an envelope, because mail is fun. Goodbye.